Every little choice you make in the design process is something that can go on to affect the world as a whole, even if it's a very small choice. I think design is always that fork in the road. Do you do the easy, cheap thing or the expensive, better thing? The philosophy I maintain in design is to always do the nice thing and always do the good thing and knowing what the good thing is. My name is Emily Fisher and I'm the founder of the design company Haptic Lab. We're primarily known for home textiles, handmade quilts, kites, and wearables. The word haptic refers to your sense of touch. When we talk about haptics, we're not just talking about the end product, but within the entire process of how something is made, how the human hand is involved in that process. I first started studying haptics in earnest while I was an architecture student at the University of Michigan. I worked as an architect professionally in New York for a couple years, but always felt like the misfit at the office and definitely was always trying to find a way to make that field my own or make myself kind of feel comfortable in that environment and realize that the only way that was gonna happen is if I did my own thing. My early student work began to explore what happens when you privilege the physical instead of the visual. Um, rather than making something look cool, I thought it was much more interesting to design things that felt cool. I started making quilts that were maps, and the idea was that these wayfinding quilts would be used by visually impaired people as a mnemonic device, so something that you could remember the paths in your own neighborhood just by physically kind of touching this object. The freedom that having my own design company affords me and like the freedom to explore different ideas and to kind of approach design in my own way, which is super hands-on. It's like one of the most exciting things about being a designer. The advice I would give someone starting out, you know, embarking on their own thing is to learn how to trust yourself and your instincts and find the people that enable you to trust yourself.